Hello, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. Today we'll be showing you how to upload a custom world onto your server. We'll go ahead and start by stopping our server and ensuring it is marked as stop and offline on the server management page. Next, we're going to go to FTP file access and go ahead and gather our details and put them into an FTP client such as FileZilla or WinSCP. So I've gone ahead and opened up FileZilla and I'm going to copy the FTP address and put that in the host slot. And next I will copy the FTP username and put that in the username slot. You're then going to want to input your multicraft password into the password slot. So this is the same password that you use to log into the panel. Okay, so I've entered in my password and now I'm going to put in 21 for the port as that corresponds with the FTP port on the panel. So I'll go ahead and press quick connect. And as you can see, we will be presented with our server files here. So we're going to go ahead and take all three of these worlds and just go ahead and delete them. And yes, we do really want to delete them. And while this is deleting, we'll go ahead and open the world that we're going to upload. So I've got mine here in uh, 7-zip pulled up and I'm going to go ahead and extract that to my desktop. As you can see, I have the file on my desktop and it does have kind of a weird name to it. Now, this is just a random world that I pulled from a Minecraft form page and I'm going to go ahead and rename it to something a bit more manageable, such as Skyblock as it's a Skyblock world. We'll take the Skyblock world and drag it into our server uh, files and we'll see it slowly upload here. So we've made it back to the server panel and what we're going to do is edit right here where it says world. We'll edit the name of this to reflect what we renamed the uh, Skyblock world. So we just named our Skyblock world Skyblock. So we're going to name um, or input the name Skyblock here. We'll go ahead and click save for that change to be saved and then go ahead and start our server. Okay, so we've started the server up and it has now uh, come online. So if we go ahead and go into FileZilla, we will see um, actually the three world files once again, the main one being Skyblock, the next one being Skyblock underscore nether, and the next one being Skyblock underscore the underscore n. So really the only way to make sure the world has successfully been uploaded and installed is to join the world. That's going to wrap up this tutorial. If you have any questions, please feel free to join our Discord and we'd be more than happy to assist you there.